Hello everybody and welcome back to Europa, where I just realized the Age of Absolutism is ending in 119 months. Oh boy, this is going to get interesting. Age of Revolutions with this empire? Yeah, that's going to be fun. Okay, so we need to finish this war with England, for sure. So we're just going to finish stack wiping them over here. I don't think they're going to survive this without being stack wiped. Um, we'll see. Nope, we stack wiped. Stack wiped. Perfect. Okay, so England is stack wiped again, and we're at 33% war score right now. A big part of that, I believe, is because of this nonsense. We might have to land an army over there eventually. We'll have to see. For right now, we're going to continue taking forward and see if we can force Kibarid out of this war. We're going to head up over here. Wonderful. These guys are currently heading to Stockholm. That's fine. These guys actually aren't strong enough to do anything useful. And there are Separatists over here. Are we already handling those? Yes, we are. Wonderful. The French handled their Separatists, as expected. And yeah, I think we probably should consider sending some of our forces over. That said, our navies are not up to scratch to do that just yet. And how long will it be? A little while yet. Growth of business carpets. Okay. That is a lot of money to restore a monastery. We'll take the prestige hit instead. Excellent. Okay. They occupied that back. That's vaguely annoying, to be sure. Elenia, what are you doing? They are... I want to see their actual diplomacy. Not our diplomacy of them. Uh, they are not in a war. Okay, I'm not sure why they're moving around like this then. But whatever. Oh, they're probably going to deal with these rebels, aren't they? Yeah, that's what they're doing, alright. Kabarid is not yet ready to do this. Negative five reasons. That's fine. We won the Battle of Stockholm. Oh, those rebels actually walked into us. That's awful convenient. We'll take that. So we're going to have a round of ships coming in in just a moment. That's excellent. I'm hoping that two ships go into this fleet. That'd be nice. We're definitely grabbing this admin tech because that gives us 250 governing cap, which is kind of huge. 100 dip power or a stability? We're going to take the dip power hit here, much as I hate to say it. But we can definitely make states, and so we shall. Whatever is most development. Let's see here. We already have a lot of states made. Okay, we'll start here. It'll be a while before this is done, to be sure. And we're going to need to core some of these locations as well. 1713. 1715. We can still be making states. This is pretty wonderful, actually, to make this many. I like that. Okay. We can still make more. 1830 is our current cap. It should be like 1850. Yeah, that brings us near our cap there. Yeah, now we're actually over the cap. Fantastic. So how far over are we? Actually, we're not over the cap, but one more would put us over the cap. Fair enough. Let's hop back to political map mode here and see how this ends up over here. And just how much coring do we need to do here? Quite a lot. That's going to be some admin power for a while. We're gaining 11 per month. And we're going to have to core in this war. Okay. We're going to have to chill for a bit on the admin power, for sure. Well, we'll continue converting. And actually, I didn't sort by unity. I should have done that because we should have converted Toledo. Oh, well. Kabarid wants out of this war. Um, do you want out the way I want you out? Negative five reasons. Okay, we're still on our way over 
to their location over here, so that's fine. Lithuania is actually sieging themselves back. I'm okay with this. Okay, any of these ships going to be up here? Be awful nice if they were. Yes, one of them is. And here comes one. That's going over here. I'm actually going to redirect it. Ooh, that's a big revolt, but they're Byzantine separatists. Yeah, this is manageable. They're Byzantine, so that means that they are Miltec 20. So we shouldn't have any real difficulties managing them. We'll just pop leaders over here. I'm actually going to roll up another leader. Ooh, that's a solid leader right there. Four, three, six, one. I like it. And we will also begin doing some full cores. Territorial cores are going to be more important, but full cores are at some point going to be important. What do we got over here for navies? Looks like we've got pretty decent naval control. So this would be using the Medi transports. Yes. Do it. So we're just going to send down our 48k stack here. Wonderful. Progress is halted on a town hall over here. Yeah, that's to be expected. Polish separatists in Magdeburg. We'll shift up the European second to deal with that. No real problem there. And in theory, we should now be ready to demand vassalization of Kabard. And indeed we are. We could even maybe get ourselves some gold here. Eight gold. Twenty-eight gold. Okay. Fifty-two gold. We'll take it. They are merely negotiating for themselves, so they are now our vassals. What do we have available for diplomats right now? Mm, we're improving relations in Lithuania and in France. Let's pull back the Lithuania diplomat. Okay. We've converted Rund. And we will go ahead and convert Toledo next. We won the Battle of Mashhad. No one is surprised. And we will put down this Byzantine Rebellion. Yeah, they get a couple of locations, but only half of what they could have. And now we hope that this fleet does okay. But we do have pretty good control over here. Hang on, this French fleet. There's 61 transports in that. Are they actually sending troops down there? I don't think they are, but if they were, that would be interesting. And yep, Magdeburg is expected to be taken. Wonderful. Ethiopian Brazil is actually sieging the uh, Incan fort over here. That's interesting. Rather than taking back their territory. I wonder if Inca would be willing to white peace. No, they have 33 reasons not to. But realistically, we could probably turn that around pretty quickly. I don't really care about Argentina or English Colombia. So what do we actually want out of this war? Do we want to grab this territory? Well, we, we definitely want to grab Osnabrück, right? That's 100% that we want. Then the question is, do we grab the higher developed territory or the more annoying territory? Because there's all these crossings that we have to control to actually siege these. Or can we get both? Surely we can't get both. Surely that's greedy. Yeah, that's absolutely greedy. We could do this. Alternately, we could take their better provinces. And also, 
their annoying provinces. Like this. So this would be all they'd have left here. And that's a lot of war score that we're going to need for that. But that's an interesting option. Who do we currently have? Military access through Hungary. We no longer need that. And we're going to send a diplomat to improve relations in our shiny new vassal here. Wonderful. Okay, and we will send these guys somewhere where they're not going to take attrition, ideally. Uh, that's a supply limit of 46. Why is England occupying territory over here? The only thing I can imagine is that these guys were occupying it. Okay, we'll go grab that back. And of course, we will be landing over here relatively shortly. Peasants over here, we don't care. We'll crush those. Oh, we can make states. Hang on. Let's do so. We can make Mogadishu. We can make Saxony Anhalt. We can make Switzerland. And that's it. We're definitely going to be falling behind on our admin tech or on our admin power coring here. So I think we should hold off on any more full cores because we're going to need territorial cores. Ooh, we uh had a lot of men that we lost on the way. That's okay. Still plenty to crush this force. And we'll take back this territory. Our truce with Poland is over. It's convenient. I'd like to force Inca out of this war. That would be the absolute ideal scenario here. Is to force Inca out. And how close realistically are they? 32 reasons away. Fair enough. We're currently lacking about a full army in terms of our manpower. And we definitely should chill on that front. We'll send these guys back over this direction. Okay, we beat these rebels, as expected. Particularists over here. Well, it's not just particular. We'll go deal with them with this force. We can make states again. Okay. Happily, I will always make states when possible. We're definitely going to be short on our admin power, though. That is something that we are going to need to work on for a little while. And it looks like Ethiopian Canada has landed over here as well and is taking back some territory, which is ideal for us. They can do this much more, much more quickly than we can, since they're willing to spread out and I'm kind of not. Mostly because I'm lazy, if I'm honest. Inca, you need 24 more reasons to bail on this war. Fair enough. Well, we'll get those reasons. This is a European fourth. We may want to raise another European army in this region and have this be our our colonial army. So that we can actually help them out in these situations or, you know, fight Inca on our own terms. That would kind of be nice. I mean, maybe we can get some territorial sessions. It would have to be from Argentina or English Colombia. Or potentially down in this region, actually. Yeah, that could work. We'll push over that way. Because I wouldn't mind getting some territorial sessions from Inca here. Especially if it didn't go to us, but rather it went to our vassal. That would be ideal. I want to hit this core all button so badly. But I know it's a terrible idea. <laughs> so we're currently shy 15,000 men. This is fine. Not in the slightest concerned about this. This I'm slightly concerned about, though. 
I don't want rebels controlling this area. So we'll just push straight through them. Wonderful. Where's the Argentinian, Argentinian rather, and the Colombian armies, I wonder? Those are the actual threats in this region. I mean, Inca has a big force, right? But they're a weak force. Miltech 18. Okay, we won in London, and now we're going to go take back Kent. Perfect. I really, really want to hit this Coral button. But I also know how dangerous it is. We absolutely need to not do that right now. Because we currently have some rebellions spawning. In Nakoma, that's fine. We're definitely going to have more when we make this piece, right? That is 100% happening, which is why I'm saving up the admin power. Okay, siege over here is over. That's fine. Not amazingly relevant. Inca, do you guys want out? No? Surely they wouldn't leave if we just gave them cash. No. No, they will not. Will not betray ally for gold. Okay, we've occupied Kent back. Particularists have crossed over here. And we will go deal with them just like this. Wonderful. We can convert, and we will convert Urz. There we go. And we can convert again. South Kanara next. Okay, we're just pushing our way through here right now. I'd absolutely love to see Inca leave this war. Negative 13 reasons for a white piece right now. Uh, we'll, we'll pay the money on the ducks. Quality ideas? Naval attrition. That would be pretty good. We're 11 years ahead of time. We'll grab it. Fantastic. I still want to hit that core all button so badly. But it's absolutely a terrible idea. Okay, we got this territory back. Supply limit of 49. Okay, we can just stand there. That'll be fine. And these guys will take out these particularists momentarily. Wonderful. We lost that siege. We don't care. These are now cored. That's good. That means that we now have no overextension. It's actually very, very good. So Inca has a 58k stack there. How are they doing on manpower? Let's check. Inca has 18,000 manpower on hand right now. Okay. I mean, I've seen worse. Mostly we want to avoid fighting in these mountains, if we can help it. If we can fight in these jungles over here, we're going to be better off. Not hugely better off, but better off. Okay, we have a rebellion there and there. That's fine. Did I not queue up 8k additional infantry for these guys? I thought for sure I did. Anyway, we'll go send this Scandinavian army over there. And I think... We'll move the European first off of Britain. There we go. We'll get there eventually. Excellent. Really? They're locked in here. Their leader is 3-3. We can pop in a better leader. 
and join them. We're going to have broadly similar numbers. They'll have a slight numerical advantage on us, but they're Miltech 18. Like, we're 24. We will absolutely crush them. And they cannot sustain these sorts of losses. Yeah, look at that. Just absolutely demolished them. So realistically, versus Inca, I wouldn't mind taking, like, these two locations. They have a million reasons to not accept this, because there are forts in the area. Maybe Sucre counts? I don't know. Actually, I think I'd be willing to just white piece them, realistically. Twelve reasons. Let's pull our military back and deal with their invasion over here. Actually, more like their incursion than an invasion. I'm wondering what exactly is happening here. Oh, we're bringing in the Atlantic transports as well. I see. Well, that's interesting. It also grouped them together into the Nordic transports. Let's go ahead and split that in half. And it's now the Nordic transports and the 6th fleet. These were the Atlantic transports. There we go. And we've got two ships here. We'll send the Nordic transports over there. And then we've got one ship over here. We'll send that over to Spain. And we'll send this fleet over there. Okay. And where are these guys going? Dresden? Okay. I guess we'll head over there. Yeah, the Inca definitely have a lot of troops. They just don't have good troops. That's a lot of money for 5% professionalism. We'll pass on that. Okay, surely the Inca don't want to continue this, because surely they see where this is headed. Nope. They want to continue. Okay. If they want to keep getting beaten up, it's fine. I'm not going to be concerned about that. Like, they can't keep up these losses, for sure. Our colony up here is now self-sustaining, which means that we currently have three available colonists. We'll send one there, we'll send one there, and one there. And continue to expand Ethiopian Canada. We've kind of encapsulated Cree. Now I wonder if we'd be able to diplovassalize them. It looks like we would. Well, that's certainly an interesting option. We can make some states, and so we shall. And sorting by development, we'll grab Saxony here. And a few other locations. I want to make sure there aren't any up here. Okay, that all looks good. Wonderful. We'll also grab the Western Mediterranean and Lazio Umbria, even though that does put us up over our governing cap. I am aware of that. We're only 52 over. That's not that bad, really. And we will continue converting. Excellent. I really hope the Incans bail on this war quite soon, because without the Incans, they have absolutely no chance. Where are our diplomats right now? In Cree, in Kabarid, and in France. Let's pull back our French diplomat currently. And okay, we're going to crush this force. Yep, no problem there. We actually stack wiped that force. Wow. Okay. So Inca, 
Yeah, they want out now. They won't accept demands, but they would white peace, and I'm going to accept that. We'll fight Inca on our own terms. So we're now at 95% war score against England. And that's wonderful. We're going to have to wait 60 days anyway for our diplomat to come back. But that's fine. We already know what we want against England. And our vassals over here are going to have a pretty good time against Argentina and English Columbia. I do wish we had been able to break their guarantee of England, but whatever. Inca isn't really a threat, realistically. And this is a European fourth, yeah... I'm going to keep it named the European Force until we get our manpower up. Well, that's a conversion. Wonderful. We'll convert Suez next. Can we get any additional ticking war score? We actually can. Okay, that puts us at 96%. And they would actually accept this. They have 39 reasons. We could even take some cash. Okay. So that's going to be quite the overextension. Actually, 109.5 isn't so bad. We'll sort by overextension and prioritize it this way. Yeah, we can't get all of this coring immediately, but this is why I was saving up. <laughs> <laughs> right here. So we need a lot of admin power. That, that is for sure. Which means that we need to chill for a little while. And I'm okay with this. We can let our manpower replenish. We can pull these guys back over this way. And that'll be wonderful. And in the meantime, we can work on our diplomatic efforts with Cree. We can work on maybe annexing some of our vassals. Because we do have a fair number of those right now. And we definitely need to work on that. Like, Lithuania would be a pretty good annexation option. Let's just wait for our diplomat to come back. And we'll see if we can annex them right now. Yes, we can. And yeah, I fully expect that we're going to have rebels. Yemtland, that's fine. We'll go up over here. Termez. That's slightly awkward to get to, but not too bad. And Madagascar. That is just fine. Okay, let's pull back our diplomat. More separatist sentiment. Yeah, that's going to happen. Yep. Just wait until we hit the Age of Revolution here in a little bit. That's going to get exciting. <laughs> okay, so we can intervene in wars, but I'm not going to. We are going to annex Lithuania. Wonderful. We need to be spending some dip power. And so we shall. And with that, it is time to put a cut in here, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And next episode, we are going to enter a bit of a chill period. Well, as chill as squashing rebels gets, I suppose. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings. And I will see you all next time. <laughs>